Hey, uh, Christian Hoffer, comicbook.com. Hello, how are you doing? Really good. good. How are you? you? Oh, I'm doing okay. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's get things started. Um, so season two, Wheel of Time. Uh, the dynamic between Rand and Moraine has uh, kind of uh, flipped a bit. As you know, Rand, it was revealed at the end of last season that you can channel, and Moraine, you were cut off from the one power. Indeed. Um, so what's it like with the relationship between your two characters uh, now that the, everything has been like you know uh, overturned? We start off the season with her not knowing seemingly where he is and her, him thinking that, you know, he he's... doesn't know where he is. Yeah. Uh, so they're separate. Um, and we know that she's not going to be happy with that status quo for very long because her life's mission is to find the dragon reborn and prepare him to face the last battle. So, mm -hmm. you know, this is a, this is her cause. This is the cause for which she's prepared to die and she needs to find him. Mm -hmm. um, but as, as you say, she doesn't have the one power anymore. So we have to see her outsmarting her enemies in different ways. Uh, Rand, you know, you, uh, your character, go, or excuse me, Yosha, I, yeah, I just see you and I just go, ah, that's Rand. Great. That's good. great. Good. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, Yosha, um, your character, you know, you, you go to ground once again in season two. You find yourself, you know, cut off from everything you've known before. Are you, you know... Uh, do you, do you think that Rand is content with keeping a low profile despite the fact that it's the secret? Or are you just trying to take things like one day at a time? Oh, it seems like he's really struggling. He's mm -hmm. it's, he's trying to live a life without getting close to anyone. The only place where he can do that is is with a, a new friend, Errol, who um, he takes care of in a place with mental take uh, with people who struggle with their mental health. Mm -hmm. uh, but outside of those walls, outside of the sanatorium, um, he is try trying not to look at people and and trying not to um, anyone to to see where he's from, who he is, because he's a danger, mm -hmm. um, and he's very afraid of what he might become because he knows that if you every time you channel, you just go closer to madness. One of the big questions that a lot of people are asking uh, about season two is, will we get to see an opportunity of just how dangerous Rand will become, you know, as as his, you know, channeling, uh, you know, as his connection to the one power kind of grows and as he kind of struggles with that? Do, do we get a like a real big look at just how dangerous the Dragon Reborn is? Good question. Well, <laughs> I think that is his arc of the second season that he is finding who he is and what he's capable of. But where mm -hmm. he starts first at the start of the second season is mm -hmm. that he fears that quite a lot. Um, so because, you know, if you it's it's just too much like the idea that you are the savior of the world Um yeah, is 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 something he doesn't want to face yet. But I I can't I can't wait for the audience to to see a Rand that completely embraces who he is and what he's capable of. And uh <laughs> and that's what we're doing right now, season three. Uh we're shooting this week and uh well I can't say too much about that. <laughs> oh, you leave me on a tease. Well, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you both have a uh, wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you.